Hello. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you may have noticed, we're in a new space. So, so the last video that I uploaded was my guest bathroom remodel, which as I had said, I believe in that video, that entire process start to finish took, I want to say over a year. I feel like it was maybe like a year and a half. It doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is that it's done. And so after that, we said we were going to take a break from construction, but then things just happen. So there's been a lot of work done on the house, but part of that means that now I have my own office. So I am currently in my office. We painted in this room. This is actually one of the bedrooms in my house. And I'm really excited because I've never had a space that I can just close off and film myself in. Also wanted to get this video filmed because there is a launch coming up and it's very exciting. I'm gonna show you something. It's stunningly beautiful, so just get yourselves ready. Look at this piece of art. Today I have the Lauren Goodday collection. It is the new collection that is dropping today on Prados.beauty.com. I'm gonna put the links for everything down below. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more here in just a second, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is the full collection. They did not come to play, Miss CC. You was not joking when you said this was gonna be a, such an amazing drop, and it is. So I'm going to get into this, I'm gonna talk about it and go over everything, but I just wanted to say this is what this video is going to be, is going to be a makeup look with some of the items in this collection. And then stay tuned for the end because I have a special little something for those of you who stick around. So here she is. This is the entire collection. I'm going to explain how I came to have this in my possession because I've had it for, I wanna say, a couple weeks at this point. I got a message from my girl Mo, Momacita, on Instagram and TikTok, and she said, girl, come get this PR box. So I got in my car and I hauled my ass there, girl. I just have to say, I'm, I'm gonna share some love for a second. I'm gonna put this down and then I'll get into opening this. I fancy myself a YouTuber, I guess. I am not an influencer per se. I am lovingly known in my friend group as the beauty guru of our like girlfriends and stuff. I do makeup. I actually just did makeup for my friend's wedding. That's why I haven't filmed with this yet. Today, as I'm sitting here filming this, it's October 3rd. <laughs> so I've had this for a hot minute and I haven't been able to film with it because I was a bridesmaid in one of my best friend's weddings, which was an amazing time, but it was also a lot. So now that I have my life back in a way, I'm able to sit down and use this. And I just wanted to say, I have never received PR in my life to this point. And so when I got the message that they were giving this to me, I was so touched. I even, I think in fact, I said little old me because I don't even have enough followers on TikTok to be able to go live at this point. So that they would give this to me is so special. Um, so I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Cece, Mo, and Mariana on the Prados Beauty team. You guys are so sweet. And I just wanted to say like, thank you so much for thinking of me and for gifting this to me. This is truly such a gift. I am, I might cry. Um, <laughs> they gave me this entire collection and I am so grateful and I really appreciate appreciate the messaging behind Prados. I stand behind their products 100%. I have so many of their products. I mean, there's so much more. This is just like what I can fit in my hand. So I just wanted to say to Cece, most importantly, Mo and Mariana, thank you so much for thinking of me, for giving this to me. This is so special to me. I cannot wait to use all these products. I know they're gonna be awesome. This is not lost on me. I don't just, excuse me, I don't just think of this as, oh, it's just, you know, whatever. This, this means something to me. And I'm so grateful that I was given this. So anyway, also if I haven't said before I forget, Everybody, please go follow CC, Mo, Mariana, and the Prados Beauty account. I will link their accounts down below. Um, they are an indigenous and Zikana owned uh, makeup brand. They also have some skincare stuff. Their makeup remover is just amazing. I love it so much. I will never shut up about how much I love their makeup remover. I'm going to open all this stuff so that I can show you. There's, <laughs> as I'm sure you've seen, there's quite a bit in here. So what I'm gonna do is take everything out of the um, exterior packaging so that I can just open it up and show you one at a time because we got quite a bit to get through today. This may still be a little bright. I'm filming at night, which I wouldn't normally do, but I just want to get this done. I have unboxed everything. In this collection, there are these, this, 
three liquid lips, three pairs of lashes, and the Signature Prados Beauty Liner. Let me tell you something about this liner. Number one, it's Trixie Mattel approved, so we know we love her, we trust her. Additionally, it is in a different color, so it's more of a brown. This, So it's the same formula from what I understand, it's just a brown. This is brown baddie, so if you are looking for a liquid liner, this has like a felt tip on it, this is your girl. She is that girl, she will last you through coloring, through a day of crying, maybe you're going through it emotionally, whatever, she will last you through everything. All that's going to be left at the end of the world on your face is this liner. I guarantee you that. I've heard this story many times in the Prados Beauty Lives, which if you're not in the Prados Beauty Lives on Wednesdays and Fridays in the mornings, you're missing a time. <laughs> we really enjoy ourselves over there. But Mo has said before that they've gotten messages from people who have given birth and that liner lasts through that. So girl, she's committed to the bit. These are mini shadow palettes. This one is Sunfire. So it's gonna be the red themed one. And this is what she looks like on the inside. Look at the material. My God, I'm. let me tell you just off the bat, one, mirrors excellent for travel or being on the go. Number two, I am not a glitter type of person, but oh my dear good God, isn't she stunning? I'm not typically like a red person, but I do feel like I would take these two colors in my crease and then just pop some glitter on the lid and call it a day. So this is the Mini Sunfire Six Pan Eyeshadow Palette. This is the blue one. It's called Healing Waters. This I know, I know the videos are coming, okay, from the Prado team. They're probably gonna be stunning, amazing. We love it. When I saw this, it stopped me in my tracks just about because I, I went, so when I picked up my PR package, I opened everything in front of Mo and Mariana and there was truly so much that I felt like, is this weird because I'm just sitting here for like 15 minutes opening all these boxes and I didn't have nails or anything so I was like struggling a little bit but I did get everything open. But oh my God, this, when I tell you like, look at this, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, I cannot get over just truly, I, I'm sure this was such a labor of love. I believe Cece said she's been working on this for like the past year, probably longer. Don't quote me on that. But oh my God, if this isn't just like the most stunning thing I have ever seen in my life, like look at these. I'm just, I'm so excited. I think, I haven't decided what look I'm going to do. Let me not get ahead of myself, but I may use this one for today. I do feel like this one is going to be one of my more used of these, but I love this. This is stunning. That was Healing Waters. Okay, next one is green. This is Plant Medicine. We love her. We love a good green around here. If you know me, you know. Um, so this is what this one looks like. Look at her. We know her. We see her. We love her. There's only this one matte in this palette, but there's a bunch of shimmers. I love this. I am so drawn to this color. I I don't know what it is. It's just like, it's such a unique like foresty green. I'm just, oh gosh, I cannot wait to use it. I'm so excited. And also I don't typically do like a brown, like coppery kind of look. I would do it for that color. I sure would. And then this one is a light blue. So this is more like an indigo kind of blue, the Healing Waters one. This is Mother Earth. It, it's more of the light blue themed one. I think this one I had said, I believe when I had opened it, this is like your perfect every day. Like I would throw this in my purse. I would have this with me if I needed to do any touch ups or I just wanted to like bring something that I could just like make a quick look out of it and use it. I love this. I think this is stunning. Again, I am not a glitter person, but something about this, I'm like, let me try to figure out how to use this. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll try to mix it in somehow with my Halloween costume this year, cause girl, she is stunning. I'm gonna save the big one for last because when I tell you that it is stunning, I, I cannot stress that enough. There's three pairs of lashes. This is Tradish. If you are a natural makeup type of person, that's great. I love that for you. We don't really do that here. I love a good lash. These lashes, when I think big lash, to me that means like drag, 
big lash. For most people, the lashes I wear every day would be considered a big lash. So these ones, they're big, but in the best way. This is in the style Tradish. This is the first pair. The second pair, these are more like wispy, a little bit more like clustered and spread out. So these are Jingle also very lovely this is thick with three c's i believe these i feel like would be perfect for like a night out if you just did like a really blown out liner and pop these on 10 out of 10. also before i forget these lashes are vegan and cruelty free so we love that and the packaging is recyclable and the third pair also some thick mamas we love to see it these ones are called fancy i don't know about most people i tend to trim my lashes so I'm not sure which one I want to use yet, or if I will be using them today or for different looks. But these are the lashes in the collection. Next, we have the liquid lips. I'll swatch them on my hand, just for funsies. We have this shade, which is called Little Elf. Hi, editing me here. Don't mind the mess, and my dead plants. Anyway, so this is my mistake right here. I misread the packaging. It's Little Elk, not Little Elf. That was my bad. So I'm so sorry to Lauren and everybody. I misread the package. Little Elk is this lipstick shade and I corrected it in text, but I didn't have time to go back and refilm. So this is Little Elf. When I had swatched this, I believe I said, this is like the perfect fall color, but I think this is what I will most likely be doing. Cause look, I don't know what it is. I just have been into like mixing different products. That goes for everything. I use two different concealers, two different foundations usually. I use three primers, okay? I'm, it's a whole thing. You don't have to do it. You can achieve a beautiful makeup look with just one primer. But me, as a makeup connoisseur, I stay using three primers. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I feel like what I'm going to be doing for the next several months as my hyperfixation lip is going to be to use this next color which is sacred butterfly in like the center and then little elf as the outer for my perfect like ombre lip this is the one that i wore the night of my friend's bachelorette party i cannot tell you how many compliments i got on it and look she and i she being my lipstick did not make it through the end of the night unscathed, but <laughs> it did look stunning until the end of the night. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. And then the last shade is Chief Woman. I'm not typically a red lip type of gal, but for this one, bitch, I might be. Look at this. Look at this. I cannot stress enough how just lovely everything is. I'm also, I don't have them on me as I'm sitting here filming. I don't know what prices are, otherwise I would say them, but I will list the products and pricing down below so that you can look through the collection, pick what you want. Hey, me again. I have a code now. It's hot cast. So if you want a discount, you can use my code. So if you guys want to get a discount on anything, you can definitely use that. Last, but certainly not least, not for nothing, but I think this is not only my favorite product in this launch, it is also, I mean, the Sagrado palette, we know, she has my heart. I take her everywhere with me. That's the palette I used for my friend's wedding. It's the palette I take with me on trips. It's the one I use pretty much every day. She is that girl. This last product is just, she's right up there with her. Now, this is the last moment that you're going to live before having seen this. So I want you to just soak it in and enjoy your final moment before having seen one of the most stunningly beautiful things that you will have ever seen in your life. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is the Lauren Good Day palette. Again, I am not a huge glitter person, but oh my God, are these all just so stunning of colors. I love just the neutrals, the pops of color, because for someone like me, what I like to do is either a colorful lid neutral lower lash line or vice versa. I love doing like a brown, just neutral eye look with like a pop of pink in the lower lash line. I think it looks so gorgeous. There's so many options. If you are a glitter type of person, there's so much of that in here for you. I do think this is gonna make me more adventurous. So that is everything in the collection. For, I would say at minimum the past year, if not longer, 
I have been making more of a concerted effort to only purchase or have things in my collection that are ethically made, that I can confidently support the brand and its owners. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I fully support Prados Beauty. I think they are a great company. I love their messaging. I love the people who work there. Cece, I have always looked up to and admired ever since I became aware of the brand a few years ago. And I just am so proud of her. You can tell that she loves what she does. She cares so much about her brand and the product. All of these things are amazing pieces. I'm sure so much time and effort and energy and like, you know, money, everything went into this and you can tell because of that this is a this is the kind of palette that i feel like other brands have either rainbow palettes or colorful palettes and that's all well and good but i don't want to just buy a palette because it has all these different colors but i don't love the people who own it or influencers that are associated with it or anything like that that is not the case with prados beauty this is going to be my new go-to colorful palette i just i think oh man honestly i feel at this point i could get rid of every other palette i have and just keep the four prados palettes i have i would be perfectly set long story long we're going to do an eyeshadow makeup look today let's just have fun and do some eye makeup, shall we? Because who doesn't want to put on a full face of makeup at 11 p.m.? <laughs> Boy, howdy. Also, I couldn't tell you when the last time I did a makeup video was. Who's to say? Honestly, it's probably been years at this point. Actually, let me see. When, when did I upload my last video? I think it was back in June. My last upload was on June 12th, so we're doing great with consistency. Actually, if anything, I feel like it's strange, I guess to me a little bit, because the places that I'm the most, well, the place that I am the most active is actually on my Instagram stories. So if you have any interest in keeping up with my just about daily life, that's going to be the place to do it. But also, I've been trying to post more on TikTok. I want to make sure that I'm saying this clearly and that it is understood what my intentions are. I do want to get to the point that I can go live on TikTok, but to do so, you have to have a minimum of a thousand followers. I just looked like as I'm filming this and sitting here, it just kicked me down to like 550. I don't know what happened earlier today. I was at 560, but now for, I'm assuming it's like bots or something that like have followed me and their accounts are just getting banned or deactivated for some reason. I'm under 600, so I'm definitely under a thousand. I know math is not my strong suit, which is surprising because I took, I believe up to calculus level math in high school. And I guess watching movies in college for a major really just kind of got rid of all of that. I am trying to be more active on TikTok, but if you want to see me the most regularly, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram. I believe since my last upload, for damn sure since my last makeup video, I have changed my username on everything to a hot piece of cast, which I think is funny. I think it's clever. You don't have to agree with me, that's fine. I think what I will do is I'm going to stick with the L and A5 colors and also the Healing Waters palette. In this little thing, I have, there's, this is not a Prados brush, but for the most part, the brushes in here are my Prados brushes and I love them so much. I don't know, I don't know why that one was upside down. In fairness to me, I did do mine and a couple, well, I did mostly eyeshadow for everybody at the wedding, but I did my friend's makeup for her wedding everything is kind of a mess and that's okay because that's just how life is sometimes you know sometimes life is a mess and you just got to deal with it with the french toast well that's upsetting i cannot find my big fluffy prados brush oh here it is i can find it i just had it. actually before i start using the blues i'm going to use the u1 color which is this kind of bone shade I'm gonna put that in the, yeah, I'll just do it in the transition. This is from one of the brush collections. I wanna say it's the, I don't know. I will look it up and link it. This is the brush set from whence this brush is. It was a whole set. So I'm just gonna do that first as my base transition shade because I just like to do that before I go in with other colors. I feel like it helps it blend. I haven't gone to beauty school. I'm not sure that. I will actually do that, but just as a quick aside, I haven't done that yet. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, 
but that's how I do it, which is generally the approach that I take to makeup, so. Just do what makes you feel good, you know? I'm going to very lightly, I'm gonna start off light and work my way in, because I didn't when I first started using the Prados blush. When they say use a little bit, they are not joking. This shade does not have a name, but we're gonna use it. So it's, if you're looking at the palette, it's the top left shade. And yes, I will be doing my eyes first because I feel that if I want to clean it up, it would be easier to do that without the rest of my makeup on. I know, who is she? I never used to do my eyes first, but then again, I also never used to wax the bottom half of my eyebrows in here, so maybe just because I haven't always done it doesn't mean that it's wrong. So what we're gonna do here now is a little thing called trusting the process. I know, this probably doesn't look great right in this moment, but it will, I have faith. Next, we're going in with A5, right there. I like to go in phases of darkening my eyeshadow. I just feel like it makes it look nice. Oop, Jesus. This is my life. I am, how do you say, extremely clumsy. Nope, nobody told you you could clock out early, okay? With a very light hand and a very small brush, I'm going to take this here shade. It's the top right. So I'm just going to tread lightly here. I gotta be honest, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to just enjoy the journey. So now that I've laid that foundation, I'm going to go back in with the first few colors and my smaller blendy brush and just blend it out. I'm just gonna go back over this side. Tidy that up, un petit. I like this. There's like this beautiful shimmer. It literally looks like snow. It's the color L1 in the big palette. I kind of might wanna use this, or there's also a similar but more white white instead of like an iridescent white in the smaller Healing Waters palette, which is this one. It's at the it's at the bottom when you're looking at it upright, but I had it upside down. Or, ooh, no, I know what I'm gonna do. I don't typically do an all shimmer lid. I generally do like a dark outer V, blend it up through the crease, and then either a matte color or a shimmer only on like the inner half of the lid. What I'm going to do to keep it fun and fresh is a sort of a halo eye, but with all shimmer, this color on the outsides. And then in the middle, use this, it's just, it's so pretty. Oh my God, I just wanna bathe in it. It's the color L5, so pretty. I just wanna use it. So I'm gonna use that and then I'll use one of the whites on my inner corner. It's 11, 11, make a wish. I'm going to use this one, also from my Prados brushes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh yeah. Oh, Grace, oh, Grace. Wow. With some palettes, I find that I have to like spray my brush so much to be able to get that impact of pigment from the shadows. Not with these, girl. Just give her a little dip and she'll take care of you. This is just so stunning. Cece, if I can be completely honest as well, even if I hadn't gotten this as PR, I was gonna buy this shit anyway. <laughs> I mean, I'm so thankful that I didn't have to, but ooh, girl, I would have bought the shit out of it. Okay, we're back. So, in the meantime, I finished, this is the lid. Well, the, the eye look as it stands right now. I also took the liberty, I'm going to wear the fancy lashes. Oh, you fancy, huh? I trimmed them. I had to cut two, so there's like, I'm, I don't know if you guys can see. So they're split into these like clumps. I cut two off on each side to fit them to my eyelid. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do my face makeup, which includes brows, and then I will do also do liner and the lashes. I'll come back to do the lower lash line, and then I'll give you my fun little announcement at the end. You're almost there. You almost did it. So stick around, what do we think? Are these a bold choice? Yes. But you know what? I live for it, bitch. Let's do this lower lash line in my lip and then we can call it a day. I'm going to use another one of my Prados brushes to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm just gonna keep it nude, man. I'm going to go with N5, which is, it's, it's not quite a black. I feel like it's more of like a, like, this is actually like the color that I dye my hair and it's called the darkest brown. So it's not like black, 
but it's not chocolate brown. It's somewhere in between. I also, if I'm being completely honest, wanted to film this video because my nails are still on right now for my friend's wedding. And I just thought it would be nice to film a video while I still have nice nails. I'm going to use E5 and maybe a little bit of N1. We'll see how I'm feeling. If you're wondering why I'm looking over here, it would be because my mirror is right here. This is not perfect, but honestly, it doesn't matter because after this, I am simply going to bed. As promised, I'm going to take the, I'm gonna use another one of my Prados brushes. I'm going to take L1 and use that as my inner corner. And then, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna use that as the inner corner highlight and then a little, what the heck. Why not hit the brow bone even though it's not entirely necessary. Ooh, 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 it has a bluish duochrome to it so it's perfect for this look. I have to switch yet again. What the heck, why not just for shits? I'm gonna put on a touch of mascara on my lower lashes. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing today is to do my lip. So as I had said, I'm gonna take Little L for the outer perimeter. I'll just leave it like this. What do we think? Just kidding. Then I'm going to take Sacred Butterfly, put that in the center. You could use a brush. I'm just gonna use my finger and just give her the old blender. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna tell you guys what's happening. Hang on one second. I know what you're thinking. I have just been flapping my gams for so long. What else could I possibly have to say? Well, nobody knows that I'm doing this, but I know that I'm doing this. So here's the tea. I'm going to purchase an extra palette. This is the Grand Entry Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to have one of these and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So. How can you enter the giveaway? Great question, I am so glad you asked. There are many ways to enter. Number one, you can comment on this YouTube video that you're watching right now. Number two, you can find me on one of my other social medias. As I mentioned, everything is a hot piece of cast. TikTok and Instagram. You can find me there. I will also be posting videos there with the giveaway. Like and comment on those videos. I will find some kind of generator to pick an entry at random. So whoever is selected by said random generator will be getting this grand entry eyeshadow palette. That's pretty much it. I cannot stress enough. Thank you so much to CC and the Pranos Beauty team for gifting me this PR box with everything. This video is not sponsored. These opinions are all my own. I just wanted to make it to show my gratitude and express that to the Prados team as well as anybody who's watching this video that I'm extremely grateful to have received all these things. I love it. I think it looks great. I'm so obsessed. I, I have worn the lipstick before. I know the Prados shadows I love, the eyeliner I love. She's waterproof, sweatproof, life proof, just in general. I know I'm going to love all these products and so will the rest of you. If you would like to purchase anything, as I've said, links will be down below along with pricing and everything. I think that should be everything for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you found me on my socials, thank you also for liking, sharing, following me there, wherever you enjoy my content. You can like, comment, subscribe on this video down below. I will be seeing you guys with something, more than likely a home renovation video, here in the near future. Everybody have a great day. Okay, bye.